Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel and today we're going to talk about G.I. Joe? We would be honored if you would join us. That's right, G.I. Joe. We're going to talk about G.I. Joe. And I know what you're thinking. Uh, isn't, isn't G.I. Joe the opposite of Star Wars? No, it's not the opposite of Star Wars. The opposite of Star Wars is Star Trek. The opposite of G.I. Joe is Transformers. Uh, or at least it was in my house. Uh, it, it, I, I don't know what it was, but growing up, your house was either one camp or the other. Like, the toys were pretty expensive, and your parents, I think they were like, you know, just pick a camp, right? And so uh, my brothers and I, we picked Transformers. And by then, like, I had just started working, like, as, as a job. So I had money, and so I was buying Transformers for my little brothers. And I remember we were a big... Transformers house, my cousin's house was a G.I. Joe house. And so we didn't didn't play because we were in totally two different worlds. I remember one Christmas, one Christmas, where I had to spend Christmas at my cousin's house and the rest, rest of my family had gone somewhere else. And uh, my cousin asked me uh, like two days before Christmas. He's like, what's your favorite G.I. Joe character? I didn't watch G.I. Joe, so I was like, uh, the Baroness? Because I, cause, cause I was a teenage boy. <laughs> and so, sure, why not? The Baroness is my favorite character. And then on Christmas morning, uh, the Baroness was under the tree for me. And that was my only, my only G.I. Joe character. So, uh, cut to what we're doing today. Um, a lady in my community knew that I collected vintage toys, collected vintage Star Wars toys, and she said, hey, my son uh, has a bunch of vintage toys, mostly G.I. Joe, she says, and helicopters. And then she throws in, Star I think there's some Star Wars stuff. So in my head, I'm just thinking, vintage toys? Like, okay. And she's like, do you want them? And I said, make sure your son doesn't want them, right? Because that'd be the worst thing. You know, that's, that's the story. Like, my mom sold all my stuff. And she's like, no, he doesn't want them. And I was like, are you, you sure? And she's like, yes, I've asked him. And they're just taking up space at my house. And I said, I will be more than happy to take anything you have sight unseen. So literally yesterday, she dropped off a shoebox and a black garbage bag. I have not looked inside of either one. This is going to be a blind reaction. Of course, we're looking for Star Wars stuff, but I'm guessing not a lot. I'm guessing that we're going to be sifting through G.I. Joe stuff. And like I said, I know nothing, nothing about G.I. Joe. Nothing. So I'm expecting to find a bunch of parts and pieces that go with this or that. And I'm not going to know what goes with anything. I'm going to need your help. So please comment down below if you know what stuff is. You can put timestamps on it if you want. Um, I'm going to post this also to a G.I. Joe forum that I just joined over on Facebook. And hopefully uh, there's some friendly people over there. That can help me out. I probably won't keep any of this stuff, but I think it'll be fun to sift through and see what's in this G.I. Joe collection. All right, so I pushed the camera back a little bit. I don't think you necessarily need to see my face. We're here to look at we're here to look at vintage toys, right? So this is the shoebox. That's the black trash bag over there. I figured we'd need the, the floor to kind of like spread everything else out on, and I just knew that this would be a big pile of stuff. So I will do my best, um, but it's going to be, uh, it's going to be difficult. I already see some Star Wars stuff, so super excited about that. Right on top of vintage Darth Vader. No lightsaber, no cape, of course, but that's how uh, Darth goes. And it sucks. I, I just bought a beater Darth Vader for um, my Darth Vader uh, TIE fighter. So we'll stick Darth up there. He will watch over all of us. So some sort of black Cobra ship right here on top. Don't know if it's, you know, by itself or if it goes with something else. So let's, let's see where it goes and fits in the camera. Let's sit there. Um, another black piece, same color as this. That's an all Cobra stuff, black and red. So looks like a canopy, a little green piece there. Um, this looks like some sort of backpack that goes on some guy. Oh, cool. Um, oh, that goes that way. So there's this little hover green car, vintage Yoda. So, hey, this is looking pretty good. Uh, two Star Wars guys right on top. Uh, maybe I was wrong about 
uh, Star Wars stuff. This is what I was afraid of. This. Like, how? How am I going to figure out what stuff like that is? Or, hey, this helicopter blade goes to this thing, or this missile goes to, you know, that, or whatever the heck these are. <laughs> There's a bunch of this stuff. So this will be fun. Um, some sort of hover craft ship thing. A piece of brown plastic. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I can tell. There's going to be... <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Have some helicopter blades. So, have some helicopter blades. How much do these go for on eBay? Is there anything like Star Wars? You know, these are the things that always get lost in Star Wars. Like the like the X-Wing guns. Yeah. <laughs> helicopter blades. Um, two. These look like they go to a jet of some sort. Like the fans. The wings. Um, little orange canopy doohickey. Whoa. Uh, non, these are stickers still on their sheet. I mean, that's usually worth a lot in, in Star Wars world. Let's look at some dudes. So here's a dude. And here's a, some sort of snow guy. Here's a little thing of missiles. And another missile, and some sort of bomb. There's a lot more weapons in G.I. Joe than Star Wars, wasn't there? You guys were like, all weapons. Like, it was all just... See, this is all the kids that were like into, like, missiles and guns. And what is this? So some sort of green... Whoa. Some sort of green rubber moss L. Oh, good. Body parts. So legs, torsos, and um, brokenness. I've seen a video on YouTube where somebody repaired these with like a black, like a gasket, right? You unscrew the guy and you put the gasket in. So, cause these used to be held together with a rubber band, I remember. So maybe put those aside. Maybe that's gonna be a project for me later. Is that Storm Shadow? Isn't that what is, and, and the guy that was all black was, uh, he was the guy that they just made the movie about. Is this G.I. Joe? Is that, I don't think, that's not G.I. Joe, right? That's something else. That can't be. That's like Adventure People or something. No, this is Adventure People. Why did I say that? This is Fisher Price Adventure People. So, that's a different, that's a different category. Helicopter Blade. <gasps> Look at that. S Snow Trooper going up on there. So far, three Star Wars guys. Uh, another set of legs, another torso. Going in the body pile. Uh, another set of legs, another body. Uh, uh, this is gonna go slow. Canopy, another piece, missile, missile, some sort of tail thing. Look, a piece of piece of rope with tape still on it. Oh goodness. I might have to take a picture of like all these loose parts and like number them on a piece of paper like like put them all down on a piece of paper and like number them one through 20 and say what are all these things because they're like look at this i'm gonna how am i gonna do this this is like i don't know i mean i get with the fi figures like that's gonna be pretty easy but oh another adventure people this guy came with like a like a silver gray spaceship my brother and i were like really into that guy so something with tubes here. Um, this guy's barely hanging on. He needs he needs some repair work. And oh, is this G.I. Joe? Yeah. So some guy with fins, some sc scuba diver, and then a big rope mess. <laughs> is this what happened to you guys when you were playing G.I. Joe? This big huge mess. Oh no, that's a that's not G.I. Joe. That's a um, what do you call it? That's Matchbox. And then there's, but there's a snake attached to it. So, green snake. And watch, one guy just freaked out and he was like, that snake is worth a million dollars. The missiles, I'm sure it's not worth a million dollars. Um, another dude. Some sort of, isn't this guy one of the Cobra commanders? Just like, 
It's Snake Plissken. No, I'm just kidding. It's not. I know who that is. Um, oh, wow. I see another Star Wars guy. So some pieces. Is this exciting for you guys? I don't know. It's 3PO. It's 3PO and he's missing his hand. What, what sort of violence happened at your house where C-3PO lost a hand? He's super shiny. I've never seen a 3PO that shiny. How did he lose his hand? Am I going to find a hand in this? I'm going to just pull a bunch of rando stuff out. Like, look at this. Just, just random stuff. I'm going to leave all that random stuff in there because I'm sure you guys don't care about the random stuff. Also, this is not G.I. Joe, another adventure person type dude. Let's look for dudes. Let's look for dudes. Um, some sort of boxer. Oh, I remember this guy from the TV show. I remember him. <sighs> Dude of the dude. I love how I'm calling all these guys dudes. And you guys are like, no, that's rough nut. I don't know. I'm just throwing names out. I don't know. This guy's got wings. Like full on, full on wings. Another body part. A dog. There's a G.I. Joe dog in here. Where did I throw the body part? I was going to fix... I said I would... There he is. Um, I think there's a body part. Green guy. Another body part. Another body part. Let's see. Body part. Bunch. Everything down at the bottom of this box is... Um, here's weird. Uh, what is that? It's just guns and missiles. Ooh, flag points. This guy was saving flag points. Just like in Star Wars, we used to save. So tons of, tons of guns. Like Star Wars, I know in collecting Star Wars, these things are the most precious. So mapping up guns. Yeah, there's nothing left in this box. But, oh, there's a G.I. Joe, um, looks like a removable tattoo. So, yeah, everything else is just a loose gun or some sort of backpack or, you know, something like that. So I will have to label this box. Can I tip it? Yeah. Label this box, go through all the parts, and just say, help, right? Help. Help a brother out, because I am not going to know what any of that is. But, I mean, we found some Star Wars stuff, so that's kind of cool. Found some Star Wars stuff and some broken, some broken men. Wow, that's a lot of broken men. This is all the broken men right here. See, these are all, all busted up. If you sell a broken guy on eBay and you repair it, like, so say I, say I repaired him, right? and then I list it back for sale, does the buyer want to know that he has a new gasket inside? Does that make a difference? Because it's not vintage anymore, right? So I would think it, I would think it makes a difference. Um, this is the trash bag. You know, the dream would be that there's a Star Wars spaceship in here. I highly doubt it, but that would be the dream, right? I don't always live the dream. Right on top, there is some giant helicopter. I'm guessing this is where all the helicopter blades go. So there's guns. There's two mounted guns inside of it. There's a little hook underneath of it. Helicopter number one is, yeah, the, the Warthog. I know that's from Halo. Um, what is this? So big black spaceship with i said spaceship and <laughs> you guys are all freaking out it's not a spaceship there's wheels underneath so i'm guessing a lot of the missiles and the wings go with this bad boy so black airplane number one black airplane number one is <laughs> the demon hunter i'm just making up names um blue airplane blue airplane so blue airplane, 
or second blue, second airplane blue, I don't know, is what? These flip up, yep. You don't make that noise. It's not, it's not a Star Wars toy, right? Oh, there's another dude in here. There's two dudes in here. So here's some Nord dudes. Whoa. And they were in this. This, this does not look like G.I. Joe, right? Laser. There's a whole bunch of st there's stuff rattling around in it. Oh, there's a dinosaur back there. <laughs> there's a dinosaur. This is where you find all the gems, right? Wherever the kid was storing his stash. I can't get it out. Maybe that's why there's a dinosaur in here, because he can't get it out. Cut to me getting it out. Okay. Oh, it's not a dinosaur. It's an alligator. Alligator. And a falcon. So there's a falcon in there. Uh, let's see what the bottom says. It literally says, I'm not making this up, Gay Toys Incorporated. Uh, made in the USA. So it's still rattling. Oh, there's still more stuff in here. There's another falcon. So another, or eagle. It's an eagle. And there is some sort of scuba pack. All right. That'll be, I bet I could find that on eBay. Probably don't need, what is this? So, silver airplane number three. Silver airplane number three, the X-30. It's got landing gear. This kid, his parents loved him. He got a lot of cool stuff. And, oh, another laser force. Laser force? I've never heard of laser force. So this goes over with laser force. And what is that? Is that G.I. Joe? Let me see. It says Hasbro, 1987. Paw tuck it. I could just hold this and be a gun, right? Um, bet it goes with this. It's the same color. Nope. <laughs> um, this is some sort of Cobra, Cobra, some sort of Cobra Scuba thing. Cobra Scuba thing. Oh, this is the thing. This is the this is the spaceship for for this guy. So this is a Fisher Price Adventure People. Um, I had this exact toy when I was a kid, but mine was silver. Mine wasn't black. But I used to love this spaceship because I thought it looked like the Battlestar Galactica. Uh, it looks like the Viper, kind of, right? It looks like they modeled it after the Battlestar Galactica Viper. Um, white snow car. Let's call it the white snow car for now. The white snow car down below is... Oh, man. Got to clean these canopies. And what else? Something in a... There is something in this. It feels like paper. Are these comic books? Dude. Oh no, they're the card backs. Oh my gosh, he saved all his card backs from Kmart. So, yeah. Cobra Frogman. Uh, a little book. Yeah, a little book. And, oh man, he saved all his little books. This stuff's got He-Man on the back. Oh, He-Man Secret Liquid of Life. A little mini comic book. Yeah. G.I. Joe, another He-Man, uh, card back for Worms Maggot Driver, uh, another Masters of the Universe He-Man meets Ram Man. Dude, these He-Man things are, He-Man's popular right now. Uh, Snowcat Driver, Motor Viper, he saved all the little cards. So, Big Boa. Oh, so this is gonna, this can tell me who the figures are, really. Um, so, Big Boa. And Raptor. Uh, too bad it doesn't show you like... Oh, so this is the guy that comes with the alligator. Croc Master. And Wetsuit. And Beachhead. And Fast Draw. I'm answering my own questions right now. This guy helped me out. Hawk. Did he come with Hawks? Nope. Okay. Uh, Sci-Fi Laser Trooper. Roadblock. Law and Order. 
Silent Weapons. Silent Weapons? That's the name of a guy? His name was Silent Weapons? Codename Quick Kick. Oh, and so the, the Flying Hover Chariot, Cobra Emperor with Air Chariot. That's what that thing was. Um, some sort of G.I. Joe forces are called to action. It's G.I. Joe to the rescue. Little card thing. Blueprints for some of the ships. Oh, so we could just pull this out and I would say, oh, that's the Conquest X-30. Oh, so maybe it'll tell me like which missiles go with what. Um, Cobra Fer Ferret? Is it really Ferret, guys? Yeah, Cobra Ferret, instructions. Um, what's this? Battlefield control. Oh, that's that big gun turret thing that I just had out, whatever that thing was. And then a poster of some kind. I think for collectors, this is the stuff that people appreciate because this is the stuff that always got lost, that nobody saved. I'm going to be really careful with this. What is this? What is this? Blue poster. Live the Adventure Operation Space Station. And then a little another thingy, Jigger. And if you want to see any of these things more closely, if you're like, oh, so like if you're in the Facebook forum and you're like, ooh, take a picture of such and such, I will gladly take a picture of such and such. Just tell me what it is and I will repost it. This is rare. This right here, rare that somebody would... This kid loved G.I. Joe, right? So there's that thing. Three-wheeled tricycle with red guns and another dude. Another man. He goes in the man box. This kid had a great childhood. Great childhood. Here's the bottom to something. Tank wheels. Same color as the other thing. Mm, kinda. And getting down to the bottom of this and noticing that there is no Star Wars ships in here. Is that it? Nope. Oh, there's some loose stuff. So, motorcycle of some kind. Wait, I... This motorcycle looks really familiar. Like, I feel like I had that when I was a kid. Baroness doesn't drive this, does she? I had, I had, I swear I had this. This looks really familiar. Let me see. Some loose missiles. A Jeep of some kind. And then a bunch of loose missile -y things. So that is everything. I'll do a quick pass over right now. All right, so let's take a trip down memory lane. There was the big box full of guys, right? And then the big black craft there. And then this thing in the car. There's the last few missiles and ropes. A little snow vehicle, another snow vehicle, whatever that thing is a big pile of broken men and then these last two pieces the big helicopter adventure people the big blue ship laser force and this space uh no airplane airplane not space all right i'm sure that video was super 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 long but yeah ask me anything or help me out down below in the comments or help me out over in the facebook forum like i said i'm not gonna I'm not going to keep any of this. I just want to assemble it, put it together, make some nice little groups, make some nice little lots, and uh, hopefully help some people out that love G.I. Joe. I'd rather pass this on to people that love G.I. Joe because that was their childhood and not mine. So, um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. See ya. Bye.